um, like audio options only kick in once you get to the main menu. It's weird, but anyway. I think we can just hit resume, can't we? Yeah. Resume! I don't cry. Oh, yes, I remember what we were doing previously. We just basically wrapped up all the initial Citadel stuff. We're, like, kind of out of the prologue, and now we're about to jet off in the Normandy to do our first proper, like, mission. Yeah, here we are with the galaxy map. Great. <coughs> so, loading. Supposedly constructed by the longest string Protheans, this colossal deep space station serves as the capital of the Citadel Council. Gravity is simulated through rotation and is a comfortable 1.02 standard G's on the wards and a light 0.3 standard G's on the Presidium Ring. Is it really? I thought no one was bouncing around on the Presidium Ring then with 0.3 G's. I guess, like, every sentient race in Mass Effect all grew up under 1G because, like, that's apparently what they've got it set to. You'd think, like, Hanar would be, like, a, a species that exists at very low gravity, being a bunch of, like, jellyfish that basically just go around on a bunch of really long, spindly limbs. They, they you know... You know, you'd, th you'd think those guys would basically only be able to e exist in, like, 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 n zero G, almost. Why does everyone talk about Elcor? I said Hannah. But anyway, yeah, Elcor just should be just freaking flying around in, in 0.3G, right? You know? Elcor's walking along, along in 0.3G. He just decides to sort of do a little hop for joy because he's having a really nice day. And then suddenly he's in the ceiling, you know? Anyway, <laughs> enough sci-fi nitpicking. Um, I do like this galaxy map. I think it's, it, it is very cool. Where you just zoom in on the stuff and then zoom out. Gives you that great sense of scale. Like, I mean, like, look at the Citadel right there. We were on one of these ward things. Teeny, tiny, tiny little person on one of those tiny ward things. And then you zoom out. And then you zoom out. And then you zoom out, and it's like, fuck me, space is big. Um, anyway, so these are the three main missions we've got here. Um, the Horsehead Nebula, Neveria. Pharos in the Atticon Beta. And Liara's Dig Site at Ar Artemis Tau. And look, you can see all the other galaxies out there. There's a great bit in... Um, uh, Isaac Asimov's Foundation, where one of the point of view characters is... What's with that funky looking bit there? Um, one of the characters is um, on, a, on a planet that's at the very edge of the Galactic Rim, like all the way out here at the end of one of the spirals, I believe. And it talks about how the night sky is almost completely black, except you can see the entire galaxy as one big clustered thing that rises and moves across the sky during the night. And I, th I, was, I thought that was just really, really fucking cool. Um, so anyway, uh, we had some side things to do too, though, didn't we? I'd quite like to do the side things. I just don't remember where they are. Um... Hawking Eater. Okay. Why 
this now. There it is. Message coming in, Commander. Big surprise, the Alliance needs you again. Well, we just left. This is Admiral Hackett with Alliance Command. We've got a mission for you. Major Kyle, your commanding officer, Torfin, has set up a small compound in a hulking Etta cluster. He's attracted a number of biotic followers. He's become an outspoken critic of the Alliance, and we believe he's mentally unstable. This could be trouble, Shepard. What kind of proof do you have that the Major is dangerous? Three days ago, we sent two Alliance representatives to meet with him at his compound. They've disappeared. We believe Kyle and his followers killed them. That compound is a cult, Shepard. They call him Father Kyle now. He set himself up as some kind of religious leader. Oh, we're going to do Apocalypse now in space. Is that what we're doing here? You said his followers were biotics? Yes. Major Kyle never showed any biotic tendencies himself, though. I think he's just latched onto a group he identifies with. Many biotics feel marginalized or ostracized by society. Kyle probably sees them as victims who need his protection, and they see him as someone who will fight for them. Unfortunately, he's convinced them that the Alliance is somehow responsible for all their problems. We can't let him go on like this. What were those Alliance representatives going to talk to Major Kyle about? They wanted to bring him back to an Alliance facility for treatment. Major Kyle served us faithfully for many years. We weren't going to abandon him. Given his state of mind, however, he probably saw them as a threat. We're almost certain he had his followers killed them. What else can you tell me about Major Kyle? He's not the same man you served under. He feels responsible for the Alliance soldiers who died at Torfin. His psych evaluation showed he couldn't handle the stress of command anymore. He was given an honorable discharge in early retirement. We'd hoped he would get better in time, but we underestimated how far gone he was. Now it looks like it's too late. How permanent a solution are you looking for? We don't want this to turn into a massacre, Commander. Kyle is dangerous. I trust you to use your judgment. Hack it out. <laughs> Based on what we know about this Shepard so far, Hackett saying, I trust your judgment basically means he's as good as dead. Um... <laughs> Right. What do we have here? Clendagon is an arid terrestrial slightly larger than Earth, but with a lower density that reflects its relative lack of heavier elements. The crust is composed of tin and aluminium with wide deserts of dust-fine sand that are easily stirred by the wind. Clendagon's most striking feature is, of course, the Great Rift Valley that stretches across the southern hemisphere. What is most fascinating about the rift is that it does not appear to be natural. The geological records suggest it's the result of a glancing blow by a mass accelerator round of unimaginable destructive power. This occurred some 37 million years ago. Ooh. So apparently there was life 37 million years ago. That accidentally shot a planet. Thing, the thing is, right, like, a lot of the... I, I am probably going to read the planet text um, for a lot of these places because the planet text actually sometimes contains fantastic easter eggs in this game. So... This is its moon. Pezrop is the moon of Clendagon. It is a frigid, barren world with an extremely thin atmosphere of carbon dioxide and ethane. The crust contains plentiful de deposits of heavy metals. The Alliance has opened bidding for the moon's mineral rights, but the exploitation will be complicated by the system's proximity to 5 kiloparsec ring to the 5 kiloparsec ring around the galactic core. The ring is an area of intense star formation and too dangerous to safely travel. Presrop's uh, landscape is a nightmare of jagged overlapping ridges and geological rock shock zones created by some ancient disaster. 
This has not deterred a generation of illegal wildcat miners from attempting to exploit the moon's mineral riches. Unfortunately, many have lost their lives. I think we can land here, so let's do that. Uh, Rex and Garrus. My dudes. Mako time. Does this thing have a bigger cannon or am I mixing it up with later games? Yes it does, there we go. It's a bit. It, it, this reminds me so much of playing Battlezone '98 back in the day, because this is basically what Battlezone '98 was—just driving around in a hover tank around these like really basic 3D planets. Oh fuck me! Hello. It's a Threshermoor. Some nice XP. I feel kind of bad for the Threshermore in a way because I kind of just was just minding its own business and along came me in my stupid tank thing and I blew it to pieces. Uh, let's see. Decryption, sabotage. What does that do? I can use decryption skill on easy objects. 50 damage, 6 Eh. Yeah. Yeah. First aid. And when do we unlock shotguns? All right, start leveling up pistol as well, because I like shotguns a lot in Mass Effect One. I think they're We're magnificent. Watching you, scum. Hey, Bake Flakes. Thanks for the twenty-seven months, my dude. Has it been that long already? Holy shit! You need to turn back, Commander. You're going beyond the range of the operational area. Me. <laughs> They're going to explode after five seconds, like Battlefield. Whoa. Oh, I should have got decryption then. Damn it. Never mind. Oh, actually. Um, yeah, you boys. I cannot be fucked. You can auto level up. Magnificent. All right. Ah, so a species that migrated across the galaxy without any particular indication as to how. That's a fun trope. It reminds me of the chromes in um, The Beast Arises. Which in the first book of that series are sort of like the big alien threat that's trying to devour a planet. Until everybody figures out that, oh, they, they migrate like this through sort of a weird natural form of teleportation or what have you. Like quantum tunneling or something like that, I can't remember what it was. Um, and in actual fact, they're not invading us, they're far too stupid for that. They're actually running away from something. And then that something arrives at the end of the novel and it's fucking brilliant. That was another Dan Abnett one, I think, first Beast Arises novel. 
Dan's a good egg. He writes some good books. He also looks like a like either a dwarf or a gnome. I haven't quite made my mind up. Like the dude actually looks like a fantasy gnome or a dwarf. It's kind of awesome. But I, I absolutely adore listening to his interviews and stuff whenever he gives them on podcasts and things because he always has really cool, interesting stuff to say. I'm not really sure what else I'm doing here other than fighting Thrasher Moors. Yeah, indeed, with Enos. Suffer not the witch to live. Def yeah, you reckon a gnome? I I'm thinking gnome as well. It's the, it's the glasses that help with that too. <laughs> I love the Mako. It's like a slightly more ridiculous warthog. Speaking of which, still waiting for the Master Chief collection. Still waiting. Like, I don't ever, I almost never do multiplayer stuff on my streams. But as I mentioned on the Discord a while ago, I might have to play some. Halo 1 slash Halo 2 multiplayer with like subs or something on, on, on the stream because I missed the, the multiplayer from those games Whee! Well, so there is actually stuff out here I'm just not running into any of it <laughs> Uh, right, directly behind us, back this way somewhere, is is something. What do you think separately? Oh, that makes me a little bit sad, but whatever. I can live with it, I suppose. We're watching you, scum. Luigi Dickoy! I thank you. 16 months in a row. I appreciate it. Why am I not using the waypoint system? Um, I could, but I don't want to. Is that good enough an answer for you? This Mako, yeah, I know. Right? This Mako is like a Skyrim horse in terms of like gravity its ability to defy gravity. Hello there. Speaking of gravity. Like, woe betide anyone who gets car sick driving around in one of these things. Oh boy. Right. How do you get out of this thing? Oh look, some dead bodies. There we go. Ooh. Tyrion insignia recovered. Digging under the beacon revealed a piece of scrap metal, likely from a very old freighter. It was marked on one side with the Macadin Macedin outpost insignia. No sense standing around. Just lead the way. I'm here if you need me. No, no, I don't. Oh. Out of the way, Garrus. Discovery. The front of the rover is crum crumpled in from impact. A glance inside tells you the occupants, probably a team of illegal wildcat miners, are dead. Debris is still sliding around the furrows left by its tires, silent in the near vacuum atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Okay. We can do it. I believe in you, Mako. No! Come on, buddy. You can do it. I believe in you. Yes! A little further. Come on. Come on. Ah! Look at those shiny rims, though. Yes! Awesome. Right, so. I forgot we can jump as well. Not that it would have helped us there, because it would have just sent us flying off the cliffside. And we're back where we started. Oh god. Oh god. Duh. No! We can do this. Ooh, look, you can see that planet we were reading about earlier just up in the sky there and that big scar it mentions. Look at that shit. That apparently caused by a glancing blow from some sort of giant space weapon. Fucking... There we go. Yeah, shoot some more space weapons at ya. God. Oh, damn it. That's annoying. Fuck you! Oh, wow, you could actually, like, knock it around. Well, biotic compound. It's not what we're after. I think it is. Over here, over here somewhere. Whoa, God. Yee haw. There it is. <laughs> All 
All right then. Is this a thing? No, this is not a thing. Doodly -doo -doo -doo. This is a private sanctuary. Outsiders are not welcome here. I need to talk to the man in charge. It's important. Father Kyle wants nothing more to do with the Alliance. My name is Commander Shepard. Major Kyle knows me. I have to speak to him. Wait. Father Kyle will speak with you. Head to the building at the far end of the compound. He'll meet you there. Um. Th this building? Ah, indeed. Good day, sirs and madams. We can't trust the Alliance. Biotics can feel safe here. Try to take Father Kyle away from us. You'll end up like those other Alliance soldiers. I have a shotgun that says otherwise. Father Kyle says we biotics have to stick together. Why have you come here, Shepard? Why can't you leave us alone? What happened to those other Alliance officers? The ones who came before me? They wanted to take me away from here. They wanted me to abandon this place, turn my back on my family. They spoke blasphemy. I did what I could to make their end quick and painless. I had no other choice. It was necessary to protect my children. Only I can keep them safe. The Alliance sent me to bring you in, Major. Can't you see this has gotten out of hand? Don't you understand you are endangering your followers? I respect that you have come under a banner of peace, but I cannot do as you ask. If you take away their father, my children will be helpless. If you don't come with me, all your followers will end up dead. What kind of father lets his children die? No, this... this was my fault. My children are innocent, pure. Please, I never meant for this to happen. I... I'm sorry. Come with me, Major. It's over. Wait, if my children see you taking me away, they won't understand. They will attack and you will be forced to kill them all. You have shown me the error of my ways, Commander. Now you must give me time to explain it to them. It is the only way they will understand. Please, give me one hour. After that, I will meet the Alliance authorities at the gates of my compound and surrender without violence. I give you my word. I think it would be better if you came with me now, Major. I must do everything I can to keep any more of my children from suffering. This is the only solution. I'm gonna trust you. If you betray that trust, you and all your children will suffer. I will not betray you, Commander. Thank you for this. Your pilot can have an Alliance Command Patrol pick Major Kyle up. I just hope you know what you're doing, Shepard. Ah, okay. Came all this way, had a quick conversation, and fucked off. It'd be a waste of good ammo anyway, right? I know ammo is unlimited in this game, you nitpicking bastards. <laughs> ah! 
How do I get out of this nightmare? Yeah. Wait, no, that's that's where we came from, isn't it? Yeah, I'm gonna go this way. Ah, right. Now, how do we get out of here? Aside from just lifting off, I guess. <laughs> Look at the hydraulics on my ride. <laughs> this is how we survey minerals by playing Frogger. the fuck do I get out of here ah there we go N randomly press keys until progress happens marvellous now then what was the other one Oh, so we've, got, we've got some collect thons. Okay, I have returned to the Normandy. Now what? Now then, there was something else. Unusual readings. Argus Row Hydra System. Okay. Message coming in. Patching it through. Admiral Hackett here, Commander. Your helmsman just forwarded your report on Major Kyle. We sent in a team as you instructed. Kyle's followers have disbanded, and the Major surrendered to us without incident. We'll make sure he gets the help he needs. To be honest, Shepard, I thought this thing was going to end in a bloodbath. So did I. I don't know how you <laughs> did it, but you saved a lot of lives. Congratulations. Why indeed is Joker the secretary? I don't know. That's a good question. <laughs> right. Anything else interesting around here? The ter terrestrial world of average size, uh, can Canctras. Excuse me, atmosphere. It's composed of nitrogen and argon. Its frozen surface is mainly composed of tin with deposits of calcium, aside from some spectacular formations of water ice at the poles. The planet has little to recommend it. Right, this one. Theropto is a typical hydrogen helium gas giant with traces of chlorine and sulfur in its atmosphere. It has over 100 moons and an extensive ring system composed of pulverized rock, presumably the debris from shattered moons. While scanning the planet of Therapto, you discovered a tiny moon with some odd readings. Further scans by Chief Engineer Adams reveal that a destroyed escape pod. The salvage team recovered one the components and found a League of One medallion. Mm -hmm. To Mahira, it has a thin atmosphere of carbon dioxide and xenon. The surface is icy and composed of sodium, di sodium oxide 
with uh, deposits of calcium. It contains a few unremarkable metals, but mainly consists of rock. The presence of canyons and floodplains indicates that liquid water once existed, suggesting Tamahira had a thicker insulating atmosphere in the past. Anything else? Nope. So, Argus Row, I think it was. Yeah, we've got the Hydra system and the Phoenix system. We want the Hydra system. Bayar is a large gas giant with traces of chlorine and sodium in the atmosphere. It also has a significant amount of water vapor in the clouds of its upper atmosphere. Bayar was struck by an asteroid at least 12 kilometers in diameter within the last hundred years. The superheating caused by the impact as atmospheric passage created a large bank of vicious storms along the equatorial band. Hmm. Bamalus. Bamalus has a thick atmosphere of nitrogen and helium. Its surface is scorching hot and mainly composed of alum alumina with uh, deposits of borax. This, the planet has an extensive network of subterranean caves formed over the millennia by volcanic processes. In these relatively cool areas, some primitive life has developed. Message coming in. Patching it through. General distress call from the Sacred Angel Medical Transport. Critical system failure. Losing power. An emergency landing. Argos. Communications failing. Life support. Emergency transponder. Won't last. Please hurry. Warning, level 2 heat hazard. Netgos is a large terrestrial planet with an atmosphere of carbon dioxide and nitrogen. Its hot surface is mainly composed of nickel with deposits of potassium and heavy metals. It is a mineralogical treasure trove with concentrated heavy elements constantly being brought to the surface by volcanic activity. Netgos is inhospitable and dangerous and expeditions must be well prepared to survive any length of time with its high mass heat trapping clouds. In constant volcanic venting, Metgos seems well on its way to becoming a Venusian pressure cooker world. Then. Heavy metal planet, yeah. It was all like dark skies and lava and stuff, so it's pretty it's pretty metal, isn't it, to be fair. Definitely explore on foot. What could go wrong? While searching the wreckage, you found a very old letter stamped with the Gothis colony insignia. Unfortunately, the text is indecipherable. Oh no! Also dead Turian. Very dead Turian. Uh, 
transponder signal or debris. Let's go check out the debris. Which is in this general direction. Yes, there is a side mission that takes you to the moon. As in Luna. See this, I enjoy this, just exploring random planets and doing stuff. This is why I got such a kick out of No Man's Sky when everyone else was busy hating on it, <laughs> to be honest. Because I just love wandering around exploring planets. Uh, I mean, fuck, like I already mentioned uh, playing Battlezone 98 back in the day, but... Damn it! Um, you know, it was, it was a... I'll probably start bringing talent with me to deal with stuff like this. Um, it was a big influence on me, I think. Just, uh, you know, I, I replayed those missions so many times just so I could go driving around exploring Venus and Mars and the moon and what have you. seconds since yeah this is the third stream you know the NPP NPCs can do that for me well what's the bloody point in them having those stats then stupid game Yeah, I don't know what's up with the bot. I'll have to log back into um, Streamlabs and Nightbot one of these days to fix up a few things. I'm just... Oh, it's just one of those little tiny bits of busy work that I never get around to. So I'm always dealing with other stuff. It's like I, quite often the streams end up going on YouTube quite late because I've just been distracted with other things and never get around to doing that one tiny thing that takes probably about 10 minutes. Unless I'm deliberately There's procrastinating. The signal must be coming from there. It's a tarp. first. Oh no, it's a trap! I forgot how fun it was to shoot the Geth with a, the big tank cannon and just watch them kind of go flying.
Dog chat. What if I stand on the anti-vehicle mine? Probably nothing, because I don't weigh the same as a vehicle. That was fun, I guess. Okay, so now we have our choice of main missions, and I've done some side questing nonsense. Pharos or Neveria? We're doing Liara's dig site last in order to take advantage of the funny extra dialogue. Um, so... I don't remember much about Pharos, to be honest with you. I do remember Neveria, though. It was quite good. We're watching you, scum. Everyone's saying Pharos, though. Also, Butch Punk. Thank you for the four months in a row. I appreciate it. Right, most people are saying Pharos, so let's bugger off to Pharos. the other planets first. Charing is a standard hydrogen helium gas giant. Browns, blues and whites. Charing, hmm. uh, 60 odd moons, two have diameters of over 3,000 kilometers. Both have signs of former protein development, suggesting Charing may have been mined for helium-3. Protein data disk discovered. Uh, the planet Sharing displayed some strange readings while being scanned. Chief Engineer Adams pinpointed the source and located a strange object. Tally and Adams brought it aboard and spent hours taking it apart. The purpose of the object is still uncertain, but it was a prothean, it was prothean in nature and contained a prothean data disk. Ooh. Saitao, shrouded in a high-pressure atmosphere composed of carbon dioxide and sulfuric acids. Um, Saitao is rapid, rapidly volcanic. A dozen supervolcanoes, 50 to 120 kilometers wide, are erupting across the planet. Saitao's carbon content and constant volcanism make natural diamonds plentiful, if extremely costly and dangerous to recover. Ooh. And you? Logan is a standard hydrogen helium gas giant. The survey team who charted the system 20 years ago reported many strange disturbances in Logan's cloud bands, suggesting many remarkably large solid objects were present beneath cloud tops. As the ship approached, however, they subsided one by one. These disturbances have not been reported again. It's like your space Loch Ness monster. Kwana's frozen surface is rich with heavy metals, and the planet's higher than average density suggests further mineral richness in the depths. The atmosphere is composed of nitrogen and carbon dioxide. Sorry, carbon monoxide. The remains of a well developed prothean mining infrastructure dot the planet. Abandoned mines are connected to dead cities by collapsed maglev lines. Unlike the crumbling skyscrapers of Thuros, Kwana's ruins are reasonably intact. Unfortunately, this only made it easier for looters to strip the silent necropoli of anything valuable. 
Except, what if we servo it? Light metal surveyed. There's never anything down here, is there? Also, the mouse sensitivity on this screen is really low for some reason. I don't suppose... No, I can't arrow key it. Alright, Ferros. The Exogeny Corporation has founded a pilot colony on Ferros to explore the Prothean ruins that blanket the two-thirds of the planet's landmass. The atmosphere is fouled with dust. Terrestrial travel is hampered by crumbled debris dozens of meters deep. There are indications that Ferros was a much colder world in the past. Ferros has two large moons, Orkan, the father, and Vardid. Land! And with that, I have finished my beer. Okay. Get hype, we're on a new planet. Get hype, get hype. <laughs> What's this? Oh. Commander, something you need? How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? She's the best ship in the fleet. If you've got a pilot who knows how to handle her. Balance isn't what you'd expect. Takes a while to get used to that oversized drive core we got stuffed in the back, and her power can sneak up on you if you're not careful. The Normandy's probably too much ship for your average Alliance pilot, Commander. Lucky for you, I'm anything but average. I like to know my crew. Mind if I ask you a few questions? <laughs> I can see where this is going. You did a background check on me, didn't you? Well, I'll tell you the same thing I told the captain. You want me as your pilot. I'm not good. I'm not even great. I am the best damn helmsman in the Alliance fleet. Top of my class in flight school, I earned that. All those commendations in my file, I earned every single one. Those weren't given to me as charity for my disease. What are you talking about? Are you sick? You mean... You mean you didn't know? Oh, crap. Okay, I've got Vrolich syndrome, brittle bone disease. The bones in my legs never develop properly. They're basically hollow, too much force, and they'll shatter. Even with crutches and my leg braces, it's hard to get around. One wrong step and crack! It's very dramatic. But I've learned to manage my condition, Commander. Put the Normandy in my hands and I'll make her dance for you. Just don't ask me to get up and dance unless, you know, you like the sound of snapping shin bones. I'm surprised you don't, like, you know, have artificial limbs or something. Considering this is sci-fi, but hey. Um... I need to know more about this Rolex syndrome if I'm putting my ship in your hands. Yeah, of course you do. It's an extremely rare condition. Nobody knows exactly what causes it. Genetic, maybe. It's treatable, but there's no cure. They classify my case as moderate to severe. I was born with over a dozen fractures. Hip, thighs, ankles, my bones were already breaking in the womb. A hundred years ago, I wouldn't have survived past my first year. Lucky for me, modern medical science has turned me into a productive member of society. You're not gonna break a bone trying to fly the ship, are you? Uh, I don't fly with my feet, Commander, so I'm fine as long as I'm in this chair. I gotta be real careful when I get up to take a piss, though. I can do my job as well as anyone on the ship. Better, actually. So don't worry about it. I'm not trying to make you uncomfortable. Let's talk about something else. Whatever you want, Commander. Why does everyone call you Joker? It's a lot shorter than saying Alliance Flight Lieutenant Jeff Moreau. Plus, I love to make little children laugh. I was just thinking how much you remind me of Santa Claus. Look, I didn't pick the name. One of the instructors in flight school used to bug me about never smiling. She started calling me Joker, mm, and it stuck. Why didn't you ever smile? Hey, I worked my ass off in flight school, Commander. The world's not gonna hand you anything if you go around grinning like an idiot. 
By the end of the year, I was the best pilot in the academy, even better than the instructors, and everybody knew it. They'd all got their asses kicked by the sickly kid with the creaky little legs. One guess who was smiling at graduation. I have to go. Take a drink. Right. Uh, let's bring Garrus and Tally because might needed to like unlock something. I don't know. Um. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Yeah, why is Joker the damn secretary when Presley's like the Exo? It makes no sense. Um. Quite a big ship, but at the same time, it's not that big, is it? The spaceships go in sci-fi. Certainly no face of the sea, I'll put it that way. <laughs> We saw your ship. Fight Dan wants to speak with you immediately. What's so important he needs to see me right away? The Geth are making another push. Fight Dan is preparing our defenses, but he needs your help. Please, up the stairs past the freighter. Take cover! Take him out! Oh boy. Tally. Me trying to sit here trying to remember how to throw grenades. Oh, there we go. That's how you do it. <laughs> Stupid Geth. Oh, these assholes, I remember these. I supposed to be talking to somebody over here. Oh, Commander, I'm glad they finally sent somebody to help us. You're a bit late, aren't you? Arcelia. Sorry, Commander. Everyone's on edge since. Watch out! We've got Geth in the tower! Protect the heart of the colony! Heads up! What's up? Geth bros! A bit of decryption. Auto and auto because I'm a lazy bugger. Target's 
Commander, I believe we're going the wrong way. <laughs> the tower is behind us. I don't care. I suppose I do care. Ah, mistakes were made. That was a very dramatic death, Commander Shepard. Bloody hell. Lol, that texture popping. It's like playing Kingdom Come Deliverance. <laughs> Doodly do. Oh, I forgot. I'm gonna do you guys too. This is indeed with the text about, yes. Die! Ah! We'll get there. We'll do it eventually. Quick save. Shepard, why are you such a damn lousy shot?
Damn it, Garrus. Uh, rip. I can't remember how to revive you. Oh boy, he's a big guy. He's a big fella. Absolute unit status confirmed. How many of you fuckers are there? Holy shit. Shepard, shoot the fucking gaff. There we go. Come on. There we go. that installed in this. Oh, a piercing rounds is what we want in this thing, isn't it? Really. Chemical rounds three. Hell yeah. You love this micromanagement? I gotta be honest, I don't. The tower's secure. Thanks to you, Commander. I just did what I had to. Well, I'm glad you're on our side then. They may have been slowed, but they'll be back. They always come back. Tell me what the Geth want. Why are they attacking you? If you want answers, go ask them yourselves. We don't know what they're after. They came, they attacked us, that's all we know. Their main base is at the Exogeny headquarters. A good place to start looking if you want answers. How do I get there? The Skyway leads directly to Exogeny headquarters. You can't miss it. Of course, there's an army of Geth between here and there. Every Geth I kill brings me one step closer to Saren. Then maybe I can get this colony operational again. 
What can you tell me about the defenses the Geth have set up? I don't have any details, but I'll wager it's a lot more fortified than the command post. They landed at least one Geth ship at Exogeny, and I've seen large walking tanks on the Skyway. Expect a hard fight. What do you need done to get this place back on its feet? We need those Geth destroyed. Marcelia's right. There are still Geth in the tunnels. We also have more mundane problems like food, water, and power. I'm not sure where we stand on those matters. You should talk to the people overseeing them. What's wrong with the colony's power supply? May O'Connell is working on our power problems. She'd know more about it than I do. Is there anything I can do to solve your water shortage? Maka Doyle has been assigned to that particular issue. If you have any insight to offer, please speak with her. You mentioned something about a food shortage. Davin Reynolds is tasked with securing food for the immediate future. If you can assist, please speak with him. Do you have information about Geth in the lower tunnels? Nothing new. They're in the tunnel somewhere, likely guarding a transmitter to coordinate attacks. It's not a critical threat right now. But getting rid of that transmitter will help us defend against further attacks. Let's talk about Zeus, Hope, and Pharos in general. Of course, Commander. Tell me about your colony. Life is hard and often brutal, even without our current problems. Colonial affairs back on Earth told us we'd be beneath the notice of any raiders. I guess they weren't counting on the Geth. But, despite everything, there's something tranquil about this place. Unlike anything I've experienced before. How big was the original Pharos colony? We were nearly a thousand at the main site. Two hundred more at my outpost. When the first wave obliterated our defenses, we fell back to Zeus Hope. The Normandy isn't huge, but we could airlift you out. The Geth fighters are too dangerous. And I won't be driven off this world. It is our home. There's a chance for growth here that's simply not available on other worlds. What else can you tell me about Exogeny? Exogeny funded this colony. Without them, we wouldn't be stuck here. They specialize in colonization. In return for bankrolling the colony, we work for them. Their main goal is the retrieval of valuable artifacts or resources. Except there isn't anything here. Or if there is, we didn't find it. I wonder if that's what the Geth are looking for. Perhaps. As she said, we never found anything of value. Of course, the Geth could know something we don't. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Good luck, Commander. I'm grateful for what you've done, but your heroics don't impress me, Commander. What can you tell me about the Geth? Do you have any idea what they might be after? I can't tell you anything about that. I suggest you go to Exogeny if you want answers to those questions. Tell me about Zeus Hope. I can't tell you much about it. You should speak to Fidan if you want to know more. What can you tell me about Exogeny? Very little. I work there as a security officer. I know they were looking for artifacts and anything of value. That's what they do. They fund the colony. In return, we help them uncover buried treasure. It's definitely not as exciting as they make it sound. I get the feeling you don't like me. How would you feel if you were hung out to dry by every government organization that ever promised to keep you safe? They should have sent a small fleet. Instead, we get one ship. And you're only interested in the Geth. What can you tell me about the Geth? <laughs> Do you have any idea what they might be after? I can't tell you anything about that. I suggest you go to Exogeny if you want answers yeah. to those um... questions. Tell me more about yourself, Arcelia. I'm a rent-a-cop. I was hired to keep kids from writing graffiti on the walls at Exogeny. Then all this happened. I wasn't trained for this. I didn't ask for it. I just wanted to end. Goodbye. Commander. What? No, I should go. I'm disappointed. There, there, there. You'll get through this. Just relax. You'll have to forgive my wife. Calantha's not in her right mind. She just needs to relax and accept what's happened. What happened to your wife? The constant attacks have strained us all. She'll adapt. We all have. Is there anything I can do for her? No, she just needs time. 
Time to absorb everything. We'll be fine. Tell me about the colony. I can't tell you much about that. You best ask Fi Dan if you really must. <sighs> Seem to be getting that a lot, don't we? <laughs> Why can't you tell me? I just want to know about the colony. Fi Dan is our leader. Who better to answer questions about the colony? All hail Fi Dan. All hail Fi Dan. Do you know anything about this planet? Just what I was told by Colonial Affairs. It's a little different from what they claimed. It's not all bad, though. When the Geth are gone, we'll have a chance to create something even more spectacular than before. <sighs> Do you have any idea what the Geth were looking for? Uh, I can't think of any reason for an attack like this. We just wanted to build a home. I have to go. Please do what you can to stop the attacks. You're the one who repelled that last wave. They'll be back. And if the Geth don't kill us, we'll die of hunger soon enough. Are you doing anything to remedy the situation? I need to boost rations with Varen meat, but it's too dangerous. The Alpha Varen, he's huge and he's mad. Rabid, maybe. Totally uncontrollable. I can't do anything until he's dead. I have a ship. I could bring in supplies from off-world. I'd rather you concentrated on the Geth. Food won't help us if they breach our defenses. Tell me about hunting Baron. Hunting them is impossible while fending off the Geth. On the positive side, they'll attack anything, even those damn synthetics. The big Alpha Baron is the real problem. He's mad, erratic, completely unpredictable. Tell me about Zeus Hope. The colony is growing. Or it was. But you should speak with Fidan. There it is. He is our leader. Why should I speak with Fidan? Why can't you tell me? I don't want to talk about that right now. Speak with Fidan. Tell me about yourself. What's to tell? I came here with my wife Greta, looking for adventure. A new life together. This isn't exactly what we signed up for. Of course, it would be much better without the Geth. We were really starting to enjoy the colony before they came. I have to go. There we go, take a drink. While decrypting these logs, you found something suspicious. Several months worth of human rations were delivered to an uncharted world in the Voyager cluster. The logs aren't clear, but it appears they may have been dropped off somewhere in the Amazon system. Err. Is that the system colonized by the company Amazon? In this dystopian future? Um. <laughs> Commander, I was told to make my supplies available to you if you wish. What can you tell me about Zeus Hope? A fascinating place, by all accounts. Though the Geth have made it treacherous. You might like it here too, if you gave it a chance, Commander. I never thought I'd stay in one place for long, but here? I will stay here. This place is barely holding together. Why stay here? I can't give you an answer to that, Commander. At least not one that you would comprehend. Why not try asking Fi Dan? Ah. Maybe he can tell you what I can't. What's a Solarian doing on a human colony? This Solarian goes where the credits are. Or I did. A well-stocked freighter can be a profitable investment on a new colony. But once I was here, I decided to stay on. The colony life grows on you after a while. How do you keep things in stock in conditions like this? My list of consumers has shrunk significantly since the attacks. And few of those have time for shopping. What's your name, Solarian? My full name is Gorat II Heranon Maldinest God Inost Ledra. Humans usually employ surname and given name only. Inost and Ledra, in my case. Why is your name so long? We are named for our origins. Gorat II is my homeworld. Heranon, my clan's country, Maldinest, and Got are the city and district where I live. Let me see what you have. Of course. 
I may be able to provide a few interesting items. That all cost a bajillion, million, million, billion credits. Brilliant. Never mind then. Basically, just a colony of people squatting in ancient ruins, isn't it? Nice work with those Geth. Glad you showed up. I still need the power cells for this generator, though. Oh, hey! A other character that is also voiced by Jennifer Hale, but with a uh, pitch modulator applied to their voice. Would it help if I brought in some power cells from the Normandy? We can certainly spare a few. The top of the line ship doesn't use the same parts as the old generator we've got. Cells just aren't compatible. Actually, maybe it's not. I'm not sure now. The lighted birds, yes! The bloom effect is just it's magnificent! My eyes are bleeding! Um. At least it's not going like going into an oblivion gate in oblivion with HDR turned on. Like holy crap! <laughs> I feel the warp overtaking me. It is a good pain. Uh. Would it help if I brought in some power cells from the Normandy? We can certainly Let me guess, no. The top of the line ship doesn't use the same parts as the old generator we've got. That's what I thought. The cells just aren't compatible. If I find anything while I'm looking around, I'll send it your way. Thank you, Commander. I appreciate it. I'm sorry, but I can't stop to talk. I have to deal with the water shortage. Is there anything I can do? The utilities building was one of the first to fall under Geth control. Find the mains and turn them back on. Until then, this colony is dry. Do it yourself. I could fly water in, but I'm sure there's some contrived reason why that won't work. I have a ship fueled and ready to go. I could bring water in. Unless you plan to make a trip every few days, that wouldn't really solve our problem. We need to be self-sufficient. Holy fuck, it's Tandy from Fallout 1. I've just realized where that voice act is from. God damn, that's a trip down Nostalgia Lane. Tell me about the colony. We are a small group, part of a larger colony, before the Geth attacked. You should speak to Fidan. It's his responsibility. He knows the colony best. What do you know about this planet? I am not the one to ask about that. Ask by Dan or one of the others. Tell me about yourself. I'd rather not. This is not the time or the place. Please, help us or don't. Otherwise, leave me to my work. I have to go. I wish you luck. Dooly 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 doo. Rater crane controls. This work must be completed. You're the commander of the ship that just landed. What do you know about the colony? We just arrived a short time ago. It seemed like any other colony at first, but it's different somehow. Don't fucking tell me to go speak to Fidan. What do you mean? Uh, it's hard to explain. It's. No. Like, I, I can't describe it. I, you should speak with Fidan. He knows the colony better than me. Are you the captain of this freighter? Not originally. The captain died in one of the Geth raids. I'm the last crew member. We shouldn't even be here. The Solarian merchant promised us a fortune. I wish... I suppose it could be worse. What's wrong with the ship? Isn't she spaceworthy? 
There's too much damage. Maybe if the Geth stopped attacking, I could fix her. But then again, if there were no Geth, I might just stay on a while. What do you do here? I'm just watching over the ship, making sure she doesn't get any worse. <laughs> if nothing else, she's good for hiding in when those Geth come over the walls. It looks like you're monitoring something. No, well, just ship diagnostics. It's nothing. I, I should get back to it, but Fi Dan, what's the report on? I should go. Hey, that's my line. <laughs> Maybe I can help you. What are you trying to diagnose? No, thanks, really. Now, please, I, I need to get back to work. Well, this place is a little, little teeny weeny bit creepy. Commander, what can I do for you? I wondered if an extra dialogue topic would pop up. Some of the colonists are acting strange. We're a close knit group, Commander. Most of us have lost loved ones, friends. These aren't trained soldiers. Nobody taught us how to deal with the horrors of war. This is our home. We've watched the Geth slowly destroy everything that is important to us. Don't judge us too harshly. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Good luck, Commander. Right, where are you Geth motherfuckers at? I want to shoot some stuff. Oh Yikes! Garrus, get up! <laughs> Dude is just just an absolute glass cannon. Some of the environments in this game are just really cool. Really, really cool. Mac. This valve looks like part of a large system. There are likely others we need to activate as well. Ah. Some funny looking space dogs. <laughs> there goes Garrus again. Leave Tally alone, you douchebag. Come on. Varon falls dead, riddled with slugs. This must be the alpha male, the pack leader of these feral scavengers. But it was, now it's just a pile of goo. Ooh. This 
sludge canister. Yay. These people are brave, but the gas are relentless. My people know this better than anyone. This place is a mess. Oh, I can't sprint. This represents a bit of an issue, doesn't it? But yeah, I think I'm, I, I might have sold it, that armor though. Now you mention it. Yeah, I think I sold it. Sally, what are you doing? Right. Suicide Quarian! I know you hate the Geth and all, but this is ridiculous. You're certainly not Geth, are you? Fuck. Holy shit. I'm loaded into this thing right now. No, I find the assault rifle kind of annoying, to be honest. Just inaccurate as fuck. sure if that was going to explode Well, that's taken care of. But there were Krogans here. Why? These colonists may not have much, but this is They will fight to the death to defend it. Tally, come on. What are you doing? Oh, fuck it. I don't care anymore. Come on, Garrus. It's just us now. You. She's had a little, little mental Stop. breakdown. Weirdy beardy. Thank you. Seven months in a row. I appreciate it, sir. Oh, 
Holy shit, okay. And again, she's just... What is she doing? You are mad as a box of frogs. There's another one. Doesn't look like it's been activated yet, though. We should keep looking. Um, have I missed one somewhere, or...? Well, I do believe I possibly have. I don't know, actually. Come on. She's actually lost it. You tell her to regroup, she just stands there. I don't even know anymore. How to fix the Aquarian. That is a book that I need right now. <laughs> now then. Yes, I feel like that was a good investment. You spent too much time with Rex. Yeah, I'm kind of getting that impression right now. Okay. Are we now done with this place? I think so. with the gold foil or whatever this stuff is destroyed a geth transmitter in the tunnels they won't be a problem any longer thank you commander we're in your debt you've taken a great weight off my shoulders i just wish i had such good news for every problem is there anything i can do to solve your water no, 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 no. is there anything i can nope. do oil has been assigned to that particular i'll talk to you when luck. i learn hey i got paragon points i get to be a paragon just because i'm not lazy Okay, I guess. 
Oh yeah, you're right. Right, where's the person who's dealing with the water? Oh, there was a guy with the food in here. Hello again, Commander. I killed the big Baron. The rest are yours. Excellent. I'll organize a hunt when the immediate threat of the Geth is gone. Fork over the reward so I can get back to more important things. Of course. I don't want to delay you any more than I already have. Uh, right, where is this? Where is this person? Around here somewhere. Was it Tandy? I think it might have been Tandy. The water started running not long ago. Thanks to you, I assume. But now we just need to deal with the Geth and we can get back to growing this colony. Here, a few credits for your trip. Hooray! Thank you again, Commander. <laughs> thank, thank you again, Commander. The Commander's already halfway down the street. I don't care, I got stuff to kill. Um, I don't think I picked up a power cell, as far as I'm aware. E oh god, don't tell me there was a power cell down there and I didn't get it. Where's this fucking power cell then? Well, to be honest with you, you say that, Dr. Fab, but, like, Neverwinter Nights 2 was done by Obsidian, and, um, the base campaign, at least, was actually fairly Bioware-ish. It was not that interesting. It was fun, but not that big a deal. The, um, Mask of, was it Mask of the Betrayer, the expansion? I think it was. That was pretty damn crazy good, mind you, but, uh... You've never played Number no Nights 2? I have a feeling not a lot of people have. I do want to stream it one of these days, because I think it's a very underrated game, much like the original. Hello. You don't want to go down there. What's back there? I could tell you. Tell you everything. How would you like that? No! Ah! That was a good one. Very intense. What's the matter with you? Just invoking the master's whip. Helps remind me I'm still alive. You're here for the geth, aren't you? You're not the only one interested in those things. Who else is looking for the Geth? Not looking for. Looking to get rid of. They're a thorn in the side of the- ah! I'm trying to get to the- Dying! <laughs> this one is no longer fit. We should leave him. I don't have time for this. Well, don't stay too long. 
or time will be all you have. Oh God, I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. I'll punch people in the face, but I won't randomly execute them, even though I've got my limits. Okay, where the f oh, is this power cell? Ah, oh, that's where it is. Okay, thank you. Well, obviously not that one. Aha! Sliding door still working after however many thousands of years. Crazy stuff. It's kind of cool coming back and playing this and wandering around this ancient Prothean city. Knowing what you do about the Protheans from the later games. Built to last year, I was gonna say if it was built by humans it would have collapsed after fifty years. And that's probably gen being generous really. thousand years. That's a long ass time. Well, there she is. Nice work with those Geth. Glad you showed up. I still need the power cells for this generator, though. I found these power cells in the tunnels. Are they what you're looking for? I knew they'd turn up eventually. Here, Fidan gave me some requisition money. It's all yours. Now if I can kick these power cells into place, I'll have this colony up and running in no time. What? And now we're gonna go for a drive on the Skyway. No, no, I'm afraid these won't work. Do you know what I went to? Do I went, went through to get these? God damn it, you will make them work. Nice of them to transport the Mako here. <laughs> I 
The Geth ships look very Halo. Oh God. <laughs> oh God. Gotcha. In fact, this whole bit feels very Halo, doesn't it actually? I could imagine driving a Warthog around on this. Is it really obvious that I want to play Halo again? Because it should be. But it's a side quest, Tally. A side quest. And this is another staple of Halo, isn't it, really? Trying to drive vehicles into stupid places. <laughs> I know I meant to exit the tank for fuck's sake I'm not a complete moron Suggest you put that weapon down unless you're ready to use it. Don't worry about him. He only cares about the company. And you trust too easily, Juliana. I'm just glad to see a friendly face. I thought we were the only humans left on this planet. Fidan and some of the members of Zeus Hope are still alive. I thought you said they were all dead. I said they were probably all dead. They're surviving. The Geth really hit them hard. We know what that's like. Those damn synthetics are relentless. Just tell me where I can find them. <laughs> you see? They're not here to save us. We should just wait for company support before we... Ignore him. The Geth are up in the Exogeny headquarters, just a bit further along the Skyway. Those headquarters are private property, soldier. Remove the Geth and nothing else. I'm not interested in your company's secrets. Commander, before you go, my daughter, Lisbeth, she's missing. They shouldn't waste time poking around. We could do a proper accounting of our casualties after the Geth are gone. That's my daughter you're talking about. She's still alive. I know it. Who's your daughter, Juliana? She was working in the Exogeny building when the attacks came. Oh, yeah, there were several places she could hide. For a short time. If she's in there, I'll get her out. Thank you, Commander. Thank you. Do you know what the Geth are after? I have no idea. We certainly haven't found anything of use. Something Exogeny is keen to remind us of. We need to recoup our expenses. It's nothing personal. Tell me about the colony. We established ourselves here four years ago. Growth was steady until the I attacks. swear if you tell me to go talk to fight Our biggest challenge has been the lack of resources. There's just so little here of value. Still, we were making a go of it. It was even starting to feel like home. Hello, Morbidion. Why does sci-fi every sci-fi setting have the evil corporation company? 
because we have those in real life, so I guess it's realistic. <laughs> Although, um, you could do with more than one. You forgot Wayland Yutani in Alien as well, by the way. Um. <sighs> what brought you here? I guess I thought this would be the start of a new life. I wanted to go where I could feel like I was making a difference. Instead, everything we built is destroyed. It's very hard not to lose hope. Where's your daughter, Juliana? Oh, what asked this? Somewhere at the Exogeny headquarters, I hope. How did you get split up from the Zeus Hope colony? Most of us live closer to the Exogeny building. Zeus Hope was mostly used as a port. When the Geth hit, we scattered. Until you told us about the others, we assumed they were killed in the first wave. If we had known they were still alive, we might have attempted to join them. They're fairly secure now. Maybe you should do that. No, 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 no. I don't think that's a good idea. We, we have no vehicles, and the Skyway offers little protection. Like the building we're in now? Listen, our best hope is to sit tight and wait for company reinforcements. They'll come eventually. Ooh, I'm on telly. Hi, Mum. <laughs> uh, thanks for the kind words, Morbidian. Um. What was the building used for? Oh, yeah, we repurposed that structure to serve as headquarters for Exogeny. That's mostly offices with a number of uh, light-duty R&D labs. Exogeny is a master at repurposing anything and everything. The company has to make a profit somehow, Juliana. Pharos is a long way from self-sufficient. Stay bunkered down until I find out what the Geth are after. Of course. And please remember, if you see my daughter... I was hoping you'd have a moment to speak with me. I've got a bit of a problem. Everybody wants something. Hurry up about it. Fair enough. I need to retrieve some data. It's not a big job, but it pays well. I'm listening. Good. Good. Poking around in the ruins has become a bit too dangerous for me. What is it about you that makes people assume we enjoy being in harm's way? It's not that bad, really. All you need to do is find my console at Exogeny headquarters and drop the data on this OSD. It's that simple. I'll look around if I get the chance. I appreciate it. That data could be worth a lot of money. Of course, this all depends on getting out of here alive. Tell me about the data I'm getting for you. Plans for a few prototype mods? I'm a freelancer. Some of my mods are highly sought after. Like these texture mods we're using, for example. Oh! Why work in the middle of nowhere if your skills are so useful? Maybe I've got a bit of the frontier spirit in me. That, and the alternative is a bit too secure for my liking. Freelancers don't have to worry about security as much, so long as we keep a low profile. Do you have any idea what the Geth were looking for? Uh, that's for smarter men than me to figure out. I have no idea what anyone would want with this ruin. Time to get moving. Just keep in mind what I say. Do, 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 do. Hello. I hope you can get us out of this mess. We ran with the attack. Uh, please keep your fire to a minimum when you go to the Exogeny building. We want to minimize damage. Oh, and I must inform you that the company will not be responsible for any injuries you sustain while in our facility. You're not much of a people person, are you? I like people. I just like them more when they're helping Exogeny profit. Someone needs to worry about the bottom line. I'm the only one left. Tell me about Exogeny. Please. Exogeny Corp is the premier engine of colonization in the new multi-system economy. And in conjunction with our core interests, exploration provides a broad investment base for shareholders. Please, somebody tell me I get to punch this guy. I genuinely can't remember. What are the company's core interests? 
Exogeny has a number of subsidiary companies in many different fields. The most profitable adapt alien technologies. There are many other industrial branches, but they aren't really relevant to Pharos. Tell me about yourself, John. <laughs> me? Yeah, I was sent here to do some routine estimations of the potential return on investment. The attack was certainly a surprise to me. I've been trapped here ever since. <sighs> Can't wait for the home office to get me off this rock. Do you have any idea why the Geth attacked you? None. We're scrambling to find anything of value. There's nothing here to warrant an invasion. There's barely enough here to warrant a colony. I'm going. Please be careful if you go to headquarters. We don't want any unnecessary damage to the facility. The frontier is a lot more dangerous than most people realize. Yeah, no shit. Alrighty then. Oh god. <laughs> Don't you just love the maker? <laughs> Shotguns unlocked. God damn, about time. Yes, I'm auto leveling up like a filthy casual. Ha! I don't feel. I, yeah, to be honest, like I don't feel the need to, or, to to micromanage when playing on like the regular difficulty. Anyway, it's like more power to you if you want to, but like I'm one of the, those weirdos who thinks it was actually an improvement. When they reduce the, the the party members' like skill trees to just like one thing in Mass Effect 2, because I don't really want to have to worry about that nonsense. You know, we're not we're not playing like wizardry here. You know, don't really want to care about my my party members' stats because I didn't create these guys. <laughs> Smack. The way they just sort of shut down and go into ragdoll mode whenever you punch them is very amusing to me. It looks cooler, but it's not actually as good. Auto level them automatically in the settings. I didn't know that. That's an excellent idea. Um, Fantastic, thank you for that. Oh, fuck me. Oh, I thought you were a geth and I nearly shit myself. Very funny, Tully. Big practical joker, apparently.
certainly don't waste time moving in. Resistance will be extremely heavy once we are inside. Okay. I spy with my little eye a blue force field that will only be opened once plot happens. We can't scratch this field. We need another way in. Uh, it's like the one in the sewers in Kotor. Oh, I miss Kotor. Ah, I have to put it on the list whenever we finish this. Not a plot door. Oh no. God damn it. Ooh, there we go. Oh god. Oh god, mistakes were made. Alright then. <laughs> Caliber barrel or heat sink? I think heat sink, honestly. And the. Have I got any better sniper rifles? No. This can have the. Recoil damper? Maybe? Or a caliber barrel. Don't mind me just stopping to take in the view. It really is kind of impressive when you just sit down and look at it. Times like this, I prefer. I, I almost would. I would prefer it if there was a first-person view in this game. It's just much, so much better for exploring. So when you play a third person game like this, you spend most of your your time with your camera sort of tilted slightly down like this, so you don't you don't look up and you you don't see these things like this. You know. This looks like a one way drop, Commander. What well, we really can't climb up here? Really? Lara fucking Croft could climb up here. Oh no, you gotta play Taris. Damn it. Even if it is a bit repetitive. I'm so sorry. I thought you were Geth, or one of those Baron. Who are you and what are you doing in here? It's my own fault. Everyone else was running and I stayed to back up data. Next thing I knew, the Geth ship latched on, and the power went out. I was trapped. I, I tried to get out, but the way was blocked. I'll fight my way through the Geth soon enough. It's not the Geth. It's the energy field they put up. 
they don't want anyone else getting access to the... I'm here for the Geth. If you know something, tell me. I, I don't know for certain, but I'm guessing they're here for the Thorian. Thorian? What is that exactly? It's an indigenous life form. Exogeny was studying it. I need more information. I need to know why the Geth are after this Thorian. I... I might be able to, but not with those Geth crawling around everywhere. Look, we need to get out of here, past that field. Any suggestions? No, not exactly. But I think the Geth ship is powering it. I've noticed the Geth laying power cables everywhere. You can follow those cables, but there's Geth all over the place. Tell me what you know about the Thorian. I really don't know that much about it. I think it's some kind of plant being. I know it's very old. Thousands of years, even. Why do you think the Geth would be interested in the Thorian? It's just a plant. I don't know why the Geth would care. Exogeny was studying it, but I don't think they found anything special. Tell me about yourself. I'm just a research assistant for Exogeny. I came here with my mother. I don't even know if she made it out alive. She's with some others from the colony. She's safe for now. She's alive? Oh, thank God. I thought I was the only one left. Please, Commander, just get that field down so I can see my mother again. Why do you think the Geth would be interested in the Thorian? I might have already asked it's this. It's just a plant. I don't know why the Geth would care. Exogeny was studying it, but I don't think they found anything special. You stay put. I'll go open some doors. Oh, here, take my ID. This should get you past any locked doors. Good luck with that field. These skin tight outfits you're all wearing look really uncomfortable. Suddenly, Varen. Oh god. They got Garrus and Tally. Ah! I am playing this on regular difficulty, right? Didn't accidentally turn on hard mode. Please contact your supervisor. Damn it! Tell me what I want or I'll blast your virtual ass into actual dust! Please contact your supervisor for a level 4 security exemption or make an appointment with. Stupid machine! If there is nothing else, please step aside. There is a queue forming behind you for the use of this console. <laughs> You are now Goop. Enjoy. Exogeny Corporation reminds all staff that the discharging of weapons while on company property is strictly forbidden. Welcome back, research assistant Elizabeth Bainham. What can I do for you? Uh, how do you know I'm Elizabeth? Your access card identifies you as Elizabeth Bainham. Is there something you require, Dr. Bainham? What information was the last user attempting to access? Fetching data. The previous user was attempting to access details on the study of Subject Species 37, the Thorian. What did you tell him? I was unable to provide the previous user with any relevant data. Aside from lacking proper access, there has been no new data available on Species 37. All sensors monitoring the observation post at Zoo's Hope have been inactive for several cycles. What does Zoo's Hope have to do with the Thorian? Species 37 is located within the substructure of the Zoo's Hope outpost. I bet these all lead to the same answer. Tell me everything you know about the Thorian. The Thorian is a simple plant life form that exhibits a sentient behavior uncommon with other flora. 
Through dispersion and the eventual inhalation of spores, it can affect and control other organisms, including humans. The Zoo's Hope Control Group has yielded interesting results. Before sensors went offline, almost 85% of all test subjects were infected. Exogeny knew all along what would happen to those people. It was deemed necessary to assess the true potential of Species 37. No wonder they were behaving so strangely. Your pilot should be warned. Joker! Come in, Joker! Damn it! That field's blocking us. We need to drop that field and get back to Zeus Hope. V.I., tell me about the field surrounding the facility. I have limited data on the Geth. They have effectively blocked all sensors within the facility. I have detected unusual power fluctuations, but am unable to determine the source. What do you know about the Geth? I have no specifics on the Geth as they relate to this facility. All sensors have been purposely decommissioned since their arrival. Tell me about the Thorian. Species. Uh, is it intelligent? It does oh, trigger shit. advanced behavior. That's a new. That's a new topic. Slaves, but we have yet to discover whether it recognizes or is capable of recognizing humans as more than tools. It is sufficiently alien as to defy classification at this time. What's the size of this thing? Can I shoot it with a shotgun? It to be a diffused creature. Its cognitive abilities are centered in large nerve bundles, but it receives data from kilometers of meandering tendrils. We have discovered bundles approximately one meter in diameter, but these seem insufficient to coordinate the massive sensory potential it possesses. It may simply process such stimulation slowly, or perhaps there is a nerve cluster of a greater magnitude we have not yet encountered. So, too big to shoot with a shotgun then, basically. Do you know how the creature controls its slaves? The will subversion manifests as intense pain if directives are ignored. The effect is severe enough that subjects are soon conditioned against even minor thoughts of rebellion. Observation suggests the Thorian views its thralls in a utilitarian way. Care is apparently taken to avoid injuring them, much as a craftsman avoids damaging his tools. As long as no action is taken against the creature's objectives, the subjects are free to pantomime a normal existence until specifically tasked with something. Where's the center of this thing? The Thorian is present as a weave of tendrils across much of the lower surface of Pharos. Observation of enslaved subjects suggests there may be key clusters that are tended by thralls. Unfortunately, direct observation of species 37 is limited or non-existent. That's enough for now. Going to standby mode. Okay. Everyone's being controlled by a giant plant monster. Very good. For weaknesses, but the Geth are very thorough. This place seems almost peaceful. Do you think the Geth were using this room as some kind of religious temple? The Geth blur the line between organic and synthetic life. It's natural to assume they seek understanding from a higher power. And also corpses. The way he just comically fell from the ceiling without me looking at him. Very good. Uh, 
I did approach the orb. I pressed E on it, and that's what prompted that conversation. it's an assault rifle that's actually worth a damn. Give it a try. Are you a crazy cultist or want to be a cult leader? Come to Pharos. There's loads of us here. This place seems almost peaceful. See? Do you think the Geth were using You motherfuckers in the chat? Backseat drivers, I tell you. It's all the worse when they're wrong. Don't you but Dave me. about as wrong as that texture right there. That's how wrong you were. Stop regenerating, you bastard. Fuck me. Uh, move. Probably about to die. Yep, yep, there we go. This is what I get for using the assault rifle. No, I don't want to review protocol. I am unable to comply. Yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody shoot this bastard, thank you. I think we're Exo Jenny Corporate. Well, yes. the all sensors. Tell me the zoo's hope control. Your pilot should be warned. VI. I have detected going to standby mode. There you go, orb. Now shut up, all of you. Is 
See, look at the distance I killed him from with his shotgun, and people tell me I should use the assault rifle. <laughs> All right, all right, Orbagobo, shush you. Ooh, new shotgun. Right. Krogan, assholes, take two. It's not going very well, is it? Ow! Let me move! Oh, I'm actually pinned. I'm actually pinned. I can't move. I can't do anything. All right, we're getting somewhere. I'm on it. Hold on a second. There we go. I almost forgot about that. Yeah, eat toxic ammo. Right, see how your regen ability likes that. Aha! Industrial espionage for the win. Now then. I've missed something. Or maybe not. Hmm. Oh god. Hold the fucking phone. I missed this.
Ja. The test samples were due to arrive three days ago, but we haven't heard anything from the colony or the cargo vessel. We suspect the samples came, became volatile and recommended cutting off all further contact with the Nodacrux. Noda Nodacrux colony. Even if the colony is discovered, no one should be able to trace the events there back to us. Ha ha! But I have found this now, so... You're in trouble, person who is on the floor dead. Same as before, we don't have the ordinance to blow this claw. Let's keep looking. Cool music was happening for just a minute there. Get him! Yay! This is interesting, Commander Shepard. A containment lab of some kind. It may be helpful if we can dislodge even one claw. The ship may fall. You find a repair ticket attached to the console. The damn door. The shuttle the bay is fried again, works fine if the PSI is 30 or lower, and the safety shut off kicks in if the- oh, oh, this is a riddle. This is basically a riddle. Um, the safety shut off kicks in if the PSI gets above 34. But if the PSI is in the 31 to 34 zone, the door slams down with enough power to shear through the metal eye beam. Somebody fix this thing before one of my team leads it. Right, okay, yeah. We need to... Get to 31, 34. Okay, it's not quite so much of a riddle as I thought it might have been. It's just one of these annoying puzzles. Bollocks. The thing about puzzles like this is it doesn't feel remotely natural. Like, there's no way this is how this machine works IRL. And so it feels very forced and stupid, and that's why I don't like it. We do it. Awesome. Very good. The field barring the exit will be down. Now we can go deal with the Storian creature. I hope that ship was full of those Geth bastards. Keep your guard up. There still might be a few Geth inside the base. I repeat, Normandy to shore party. Are you reading? Anyone there? Normandy to shore party. Come on, Commander. Talk to me. Is that you, Joker? What's going on over there? We're in lockdown here, Commander. Something happened to the colonists. They're banging on the hull, trying to claw their way inside the ship. They're freaking out. Keep those colonists away from the Normandy. Gun them down if you have to. Uh, we'll do, Commander. We'll fire off a few warning shots. That should send them running. All right, people. You know the drill. Let's move out. Also level up. <laughs> Yay! Yes. Oh. <laughs> A 
I thought you guys were... Ah, I actually have to click for you to make it happen. Um... Ah. Private log of Dr. Gamal. I don't trust the Cerberus group. They may pay us well, but if this gets out before we've developed an antidote, it's just not smart. They won't tell us what they want the samples for or why they wanted them delivered to the Mutanos. Mutano system. My records show nothing of interest out there. Urgh. Cerberus, eh? I found my ad, blo ad blocker doesn't work on Twitch, annoyingly. Uh, and I have to admit, yes, I do use an ad blocker on Twitch, mostly because I watch small streamers exclusively, and I know that the, um, I know that as a small streamer myself, ad revenue is pitifully small um, on Twitch. said you didn't know about the Thorian. I don't like being lied to. I... I was afraid. I wanted to stop the tests, but they threatened me. Told me I'd be next. When the Geth attacked, I stayed behind to send a message to Colonial Affairs. I tried to tell them where to find the Thorian, but the power cut before I could send the message. I... I, I never meant for this to happen. Where's the Thorian? The Thorian is underneath Zeus Hope, but the entrance is blocked. The colonists covered it with the freighter just before the Geth attacked. What bothers me is why the Geth were after the Thorian in the first place. Well, it does have unique mind control capabilities. That's what Exogeny was interested in. Normandy to shore party, come in. What is it, Joker? We're getting a lot of Geth comm shatter. Looks like they're headed your way. You heard the man. Let's move out. I'm coming with you. I might be able to help. Undo the mess I helped create. Dooly dooly doo. More Mako segment. Don't we just love it? Ad infinitum. Really careful driving around on this bit with the scope on because I could quite easily go sailing over the edge. Of course, it is a lovely view. Sometimes playing this game makes me nostalgic for, for uh, Dragon Age. Occasionally you hear like a reused sound effect that was in Dragon Age as well. Is there Is there this up? And it's just like, aww. What was that all about? I missed that game. We streamed it not that long ago too and I still miss it. Out. 
You can't do this, John. Everyone shut up. Uh, let me think. What's going on? You won't get away with this. Get her out of here! Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Lisbeth! Damn it! Come, come out where I can see you! All of you! Shepard, damn it. I knew it was too much to hope that Geth would kill you. <laughs> I found some interesting facts about you in the Exogeny database. I know what you did on Torfin. There's no reason for this to get bloody. Not this time, Jong. You need to back down and let them go. You, you don't understand. It's not that easy. Communications are back up. Exogeny wants this place purged. This is a human colony, Jong. You can't just repurpose us. <laughs> it's not just you. There's something here far more valuable than a few colonists. Are you gonna tell them about the Thorian, or should I? The what? It's a telepathic life form living under Zeus' hope. It's taking control of the colonists there. Exogeny knew all along. You won't get away with this, Jong. So you keep saying, but nobody's gonna miss a few colonists. No! No! You've gone way too far. This ends now. If, if that's the way it has to be, heck, come on, come on! That works too. As if we don't have enough problems. Now we're shooting each other in the back. It's my fault. I knew what was going on and I didn't do anything. Don't you start. You do good work and you know it. So what now, Commander? I need to find out why the Geth are after the Thorian. The colonists won't let you near the Thorian. They die first. They're under its control. What else am I supposed to do? There's gotta be another way. I think there is. You could safely use a nerve agent to neutralize the colonists. Like a gas grenade. Releasing clouds of nerve gas doesn't seem like a particularly good idea. It's not like it's weapons grade. The insecticide we use in the grow labs contains trace amounts of tetraclopene, a neuromuscular degenerator. If their nervous systems are already weakened, it may act as a paralyzing agent. We might be able to adapt a concussion grenade to deploy it. Sounds good. I'll do what I can. Excellent. Thank you so much, Commander. Uh, okay. There it is. Oh, I could have been equipping loads of extra grenade stuff this entire time and I totally forgot. Alright. Any luck finding my workstation out in the ruins? I managed to find the data and transfer it to your OSD. That's very good news indeed, thank you. Just give me my credits and I'll be on my way. You bet. Thanks for all your help, Commander. Lovely. Um. Yeah, I maxed out Intimidate, but uh, not enough bloody Renegade. Because I helped the stupid fucking colonists, and now I'm not Renegade enough. Ah. I'll teach me to do side quests. I just wanted some extra credits. <laughs> and the stupid game had to go give me Paragon points. Renegade playthroughs, apparently not for completionists.
Oh, I forgot about this creepy shit. What was that creature? It certainly wasn't human. All right, fine. Renegade time. I want a clean sweep. Nothing hostile lives to take a second shot. What about the nerve grenades we acquired? We could potentially incapacitate the colonists. <sighs> we don't have time to waste on these people. There's a galaxy at stake. Very well. It is regrettable, but it is your decision. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> Tell me to go talk to Fidan one more time, motherfucker. Sorry, I helped you all. Now I have to kill you because game mechanics. since we're not using the gas anyway. We turn them all into green goo, no one will ever know, right? It's inside the scenery. Ugh, creepy noises. Of 
zero colonists alive. Tried to fight it, but it gets in your head. You can't imagine the pain. I was supposed to be their leader. These people trusted me. It wants me to stop you, but I won't. I won't! Well, at least he tried to resist. I respect you for that, Fidan. Now then. Where are we going exactly? can talk to fire down in hell ah here we go This armor is quite awful, isn't it? I'm not a fan. I've still got the N7 armor, which looks freaking awesome. But, uh... Oh well. Alright, we just need to find this creature and determine what it... What it... Kira. What is that? Nothing's ever simple, is it? Oh, this part's just gross. Invaders, your every step is a transgression. A thousand feelers appraise you as meat, good only to dig or decompose. I speak through the old growth as I did for Saren. You are within and before the Thorian. It commands that you be in awe. You enslaved the colonists. You destroyed their minds. I don't know what Saren wanted with you, but I just want you dead. The Thorian is a piece of this world, extending across the land and back through the ages. You can no more kill it than cut the sky. Your blood will the ground and I will try, though. Damn it, Garrus. Damn it, Garrus. Dude. Uh, let's see. Ooh. Another point in Intimidate. I'm okay, I'm okay. <laughs>
pretty big. Apparently stretches across an entire planet, so it's it's that kind of big. Over here, Commander. Definitely something different. We stung it. I'm sure of that. We need to find more of these things. Okay, apparently it can just spit out a sorry commandos. That's not so good. Enough of your space wizardry. Just a minute, Mr. Monster Thing. New shotty? No. Not a good one, anyway. Another one of these things around here? Why, yes. Um, the quick save failed is, is when you try and quick save in combat. I like how the Thorian node has like the arrows on, on, on its thing, on its health bar, as if it's the pressure gauge from earlier. It's just a bit weird. Keep shooting guys, it's fine. I'm nearly, there we go. Medical station could do with some extra health kits right now. In fact, yeah. Okay, it didn't actually give me. Never mind. Although, Tally, would you would you like a a uh, an Omni tool that's way better than your current one? Kind of. Mostly. <laughs> 
Sweet. Uh, let's see. Oh, I keep forgetting I have this Carnage thing. I've now got the advanced version of it. I still haven't used it. <laughs> oh dear. Um... Go on, somebody get up so I can shoot you. That's pretty cool. Tally, come on. Thing's not gonna kill itself. Oh god. Too quite done having a nap. Thank you. You are being rescued. Please do not resist. <laughs> Such a good line. <laughs> Oh, you guys are down again. I'm not paying you for. It's alright, I don't need party members. I can just solo this shit, apparently. Although, having said that, when you're ready, guys. Guess who's getting carnaged? You must die. I would agree with you, Darmok, by the way, on that one. I think it's my favourite, too. I'm free. I... I suppose I should thank you for releasing me. How do I know this isn't some kind of trick? This is no trick. The Thorian is dead, and I am myself again. My name is Shiala. I serve... I I served Matriarch Benezia. When she allied herself with Saren, so did I. Benezia foresaw the influence Saren would have. She joined him to guide him down a gentler path. 
but Saren is compelling. Benezia lost her way. You chose to side with Saren. So did Matriarch Benezia. Benezia underestimated Saren, as I did. We came to believe in his cause and his goals. The strength of his influence is troubling. She tried to manipulate Saren, but in the end, her plan backfired. Asari matriarchs are among the most intelligent and powerful beings in the galaxy. How could one fall under Saren's control? Saren has a vessel, an enormous warship unlike anything I've ever seen. He calls it Sovereign. It can dominate the minds of his followers. They become indoctrinated to Saren's will. The process is subtle. It can take days, weeks, but in the end, it is absolute. I was a willing slave when Saren brought me to this world. He needed my biotics to communicate with the Thorian to learn its secrets. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. That's what you get for trusting Saren. Saren is quick to betray his followers and his allies. Once he had what he needed, he ordered his geth to destroy the Thorian. Saren knows you are searching for the conduit. He knows you are following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the cipher. What's the cipher? And why did Saren need it? The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. He must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched and studied them. When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. Ew. So the Thorian taught Saren to think like a Prothean. How? The Cypher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. To understand, you must have access to endemic ancestral memory. A viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. I sensed this ancestral memory, the Cypher, when I melded with the Thorian. Our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught, it simply exists. You taught Saren, you can teach me. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did with Saren. Try to relax, Commander. Slow, deep breaths. Let go of your physical shell. Reach out to grasp the threads that bind us, one to another. Every action sends ripples across the galaxy. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. Open yourself to the universe, Commander. Embrace eternity. I have given you the cipher, just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are a part of you now. What was that? Commander Shepard, are you all right? All I saw were more weird visions. It still didn't make sense. You have been given a great gift, the experience of an entire people. It will take time for your mind to process this information. We should get you back to the ship, Commander. Medical needs to know about it. I'm sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the Cypher. In time, it will help you understand the vision from the Beacon. Tell me more about this ship Saren has. Sovereign is alien. I do not know how it was built or where it comes from. 
Its design does not match that of any known spacefaring species. It dwarfs any vessel in the Citadel or Alliance fleets. Its weapons are devastating, its defenses virtually impenetrable. With it, Saren believes he is unstoppable. Right, again, yeah, no, no spoilers in the chat, folks, but as far as what you're talking about is concerned, the indoctrination theory thing, like, it's nice, but, you know, the, the, the writers confirmed that's not the case, so it's basically just fan fiction. Um... You said Saren uses it to manipulate his followers. The indoctrination. There is an energy about Sovereign. You feel drawn to the ship. It makes Saren's arguments more persuasive, more compelling. Spend enough time in Sovereign's presence and you will lose yourself. There is no other way to explain it. I want to know more about Benezia. Benezia was greatly respected among our people. A powerful biotic, even for an Asari. She was widely known as a teacher of philosophy and religion. She always sought the paths of peace and harmony. She joined with Saren because she hoped to turn him away from his path of destruction. Instead, she became one of his most powerful allies. As I mentioned before, Matriarch Benezia underestimated Saren. Be sure you do not make the same mistake. What else can you tell me about Saren? There is little I could tell you that you do not already know. He's powerful, he's charismatic, and he is dangerous. Once I followed him, blind to his true nature, but now I see he's leading the galaxy into an age of darkness and suffering. Is there anything else you can tell me about the Thorian? When the creature enveloped me, I became part of it, but I still don't truly understand it. So alien, so ancient. Its exact age is impossible to know. It measured time differently. 10,000 years of hibernation broken by a few frantic centuries of activity. Its mind was awesome, magnificent. It transcended all classification. And now it is gone. The galaxy's a better place with that thing dead and gone. The Thorin was a unique life form. A sentient being that lived for 50,000 years, maybe more. There is nothing even remotely like it in the known galaxy. I am grateful you saved me from a life of thraldom. Yet I cannot help but feel some sorrow for the loss of such a rare and remarkable creature. I want to know more about you. There is nothing remarkable about me. I was merely one of Matriarch Benezia's disciples. For nearly two centuries I followed her, learning at her feet. When Benezia revealed her plan to join Saren, she gave her disciples a choice. Only those who were willing had to follow her. Many felt her plan was too dangerous. But I believed in her. I thought she could turn Saren away from his insanity. Instead, we joined him in it. Hmm. You were allied with Saren. For all I know, you still are. I can't just let you walk away. Your suspicions are understandable, but you freed me from the Thorian and from Saren. I am on your side now. If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their <laughs> suffering. I There's, would like um... to make amends. <laughs> There's not a lot of colonists left. I just want to point that out. Uh... <laughs> um... Colonists will need all the help they can get. They'll be happy to have you on their side. Thank you, Commander. May fortune smile upon you. You tried to do for us. Saved a few. It's more than most would have done. Anyway, thanks. We'll start again. Just not here. Thanks again. That data will be very valuable when they come back. Welp. I will remain here until the last of your kind is gone. I am greatly ashamed for what happened here. 
Farewell, Shiala. Farewell, Commander. I wish you well in your hunt. I probably should have shot her, but I just I'm so bad at being an asshole in these games. Yes, we killed Fidan, and that's what matters. Except we didn't actually, he killed himself, but you know. Alright, back we go on to the ship. Jobs are good and... Nobody important died at least. Right? Yeah. It's fine. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Are you okay, Commander? You look a little pale. It's that damn cipher. It has sorry messed you up good. And for what? We still don't know where to find the stupid conduit. What a waste. You're right. We've been on a wild goose chase this whole time. We still have another lead, Commander. That Asari scientist in the Artemis Tau cluster, the Matriarch's daughter. She's an expert on the Protheans. Maybe she knows something. Don't worry. We'll deal with her soon enough. Crew dismissed. I've sent off the Pharos report, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander, Exogenia should have told us about the Thor. You might have been able to capture it for study instead of destroying it. The only reason to study a creature like that is to figure out how to kill it. Yes, kill it. That's how you humans usually deal with things you don't understand. The Thorian enslaved and killed innocent civilians. Yes, I'm sure you're correct, Commander. It's unfortunate the colony couldn't be saved. I'm surprised, Shepard. Ferris was a human colony. I thought you'd go to any lengths to save your own kind. The mission comes first. Sometimes sacrifices have to be made, Commander. I'm glad you understand that. Goodbye, Commander. We will be waiting for your next report. Yeah, we got a little bit of Renegade to make up for all that Paragon we gained by accident. Uh, right. Well. I suggest, folks, that we call it quits here. I think I'll leave the uh, party member chit-chat stuff for, uh, for when we come back next time, I think. Um. Yeah, you can just, like, disconnect them. Normally, that's why that's why I used to do on previous playthroughs. To be honest, that's kind of why I decided to argue it out. Um, but yes, let's just. Uh, oh, I got more more points. More shotgun. Um, save. Beautiful. All right, ladies and gents. One of the big three missions out of the way. Now, uh, I guess next is going to be Novaria, because we decided we were going to do um, the, the other one last. So, let's see if there's anyone streaming I can go raid. Um, No, not really. All right, never mind then. Ladies and gents, have a good one. I'll see you again on Friday. Um, On Friday, we'll be streaming... To be honest, whatever I feel like streaming on the night, but um, potentially it might be more uh, Rome Total War continuing that campaign. Because that's what I said we were going to do on Friday. So, but anyway. Um, yeah, have a good one, everybody. Hope you had fun. I did, once I got into it a bit. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on Friday, folks. Toodaloo.